This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Secret of Mana for the SNES. Well, last time we made it to Kippo Village here, and I just went to the inn right away, so let's go ahead and talk to everybody. This is Kippo Village. Alright, well, thank you. Dad owns the store here. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go talk to him pretty quickly. To the north, this guy is Nabel. Orbs live there. Thanks for the tip. But yeah, there's not a lot going on here. It's a pretty small village. Ah, this looks like a cannon travel guy. This is my home. The missus is upstairs. My husband's brothers all look alike. Sounds kind of racist. <laughs> I guess I don't know if they're... They're certainly not like the other humans in the game. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's something else or what they are. My son, Dialect's too busy to visit me. And well, this is where Dialect's from, apparently. I heard about the kingdom. It's too laid back here. I think you'd rather be laid back and not in trouble like the kingdom. Do they have any different equipment or items for us? Okay, yeah, so we do have elbow pads. Um, I can't quite afford two of them, but I guess if I sold the ones I'm currently wearing, we could. A Kung Fu dress for um, Prim, but yeah, it's 350 GP. And a chain vest for Randy. And the hair ribbon's the same, we already have that. Um, Prim can wear the chain vest too, but if you can afford it, the Kung Fu dress is going to be better. Let's go ahead and equip that vest on him. See how much that upgrades. Alright, yeah, so from 3 to 10, so it is a pretty big upgrade there. And yeah, we don't get a lot for selling the overalls. So I can't afford anything else yet. But anyway, let's go ahead and head towards Gaius Naval. And yeah, I'll still try to keep fighting everything on my way there, basically. You can go um, to the to the right or to the upper left here. I'm just gonna go this way first. This is actually the faster way, but I'll go around the whole area at least once. Haunted forest to the north, guys. Naval to the south. So that's where the witch is. And that's where Prim wants to go. Yeah, that's what happens when you get poisoned. It just counts down your... picks down your HP for a little while, but you get over it on your own. You could use a medical herb if you're, like, really low on HP and worried about it. We're actually gonna head up here first. Alright. Yeah, so those lullabud guys really kind of try to blend in with these regular-looking flowers here.
Yeah, the, what's this guy doing just walking around here? There are many monsters in Gaia's navel. I saw the floodwater sweep some kid into it. Sounds dangerous. But yeah, that sign still says the same. Over here, you actually can get, um... Cannon Travel Guy. Where would he take us? To the Water Palace or Pandora, so... You like using the shortcuts and speeding things up? That is there. And if we head up here, and if you step on those tiles, it'll warp you. Now we got this area. You got these guys in the middle here. Robin Hood, I believe. If you get close enough to them, they basically get scared and won't do anything. But um, if you get far enough away to where they can hit you with their bow and arrow, they can actually do pretty decent damage for this stage of the game. And you can kind of get caught in a stun loop. So I want to try to avoid that if we can. Or like this, my idiot AI guy gets caught. I don't know, I, I call it AI, but I guess it probably wasn't really at this point necessarily, although I suppose it depends on your definition there, but computer controlled at any rate. Yeah, trying to get him to come around the corner sometimes. It'd be a big pain in the ass. Once the enemy's not there anymore, then he doesn't care. But yeah, if I can get in here and get close enough to these guys, then they won't attack anymore. Another one over here, but you gotta come in from the bottom. Some nice chill music going on, too. And Nico's here. Meow? We meet in a strange place, Per. Need anything? Yeah, you don't have an in here, but he will save your game. If you want. Um, he doesn't have anything different than what he had at his shop before. At different points in the game, I think he does actually get different equipment, so it's not always just this stuff. Alright, and this tile will warp us to another area. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's not taking terribly long to get my weapon levels up. The higher you go, though, in um, weapon level, the longer it'll take, I'm, I think. Not exactly sure what the calculation is based on. I don't think there's anything for us to do down here. God damn it. Get out of the line of fire, you idiot. Yeah, and those bats can cast spells on us. With that balloon over his head, it means he's basically paralyzed for now. That doesn't last too long. Oh, whatever. Okay, this guy will spawn these Chobin Hood guys. And he can moogle. He can turn us into moogles. So, 
can be pretty dangerous. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, run away when things don't go as planned. Oh, great. I'm gonna try to make a beeline back to the village. One positive is that the computer controlled character, once they're dead, doesn't really slow me down and get caught on corners and stuff. If I had a couple wishes, you could bring her back, but I don't currently have any of those. But if you stay at an inn, that'll revive dead characters too. Yeah, but they don't sleep in the bed when they're dead. So she's just standing or laying beside the bed there, but... Yeah, once we get the morning... Back up and ready to go. So, yeah, I guess the game's not always a complete pushover, obviously. You can still get in trouble and... End up getting the game over. Just like that. Yeah. And that only increases it from 1 to 2 for defense. That's not a great upgrade, but we'll take it. And I think like in the armor rings like this, how we have four right now, I think you can hold up to like 10 or 12 things in the ring. But that's why I was saying like I wouldn't probably keep things once you don't need them anymore. And that way you should never really have to worry about the inventory space there. I guess I should switch back to Prim to keep getting her weapon upgraded level. I'm gonna go back into the forest for just a second, but we're not gonna go the way I was going there because I actually don't need to go there yet. I was just trying to show it. But we'll see it again. And she got a level up, so she's getting closer to Randy as far as HP goes. Um, I think instead of trying to fight them, I'm gonna just ignore them because without the sword, she can't get to him usually here anyway. But yeah, I guess I'll just switch to him and we'll try to run past him. There we go. Yeah, you see these things here, and if you try to hit him with the sword, he says, I won't be able to cut this without an axe. 
I've heard there's a dwarf blacksmith in Gaia's Navel. There may be some good weapons there. We'd better go to a Gaia's Navel first. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because if you try to go there before you come here and check that out, I think she either leaves your party or threatens to to the point where she won't let you go forward without coming here first. I think she actually does leave. So then you don't get her back until you get to that point. But for now, let's get out of here and go back towards Gaia's Navel. These guys are actually some of the best enemies to, um... To grind on if you want to if you want to do like a low level run or try to keep your levels low for as long as possible because they have one of the best gold to experience ratios so they'll give you quite a bit of money but don't actually give you that much experience and it's a good place to level up your weapons also then if you don't want to level up too much Not really worried about doing something like that for this run. Alright. First, we're gonna head to the right here from the beginning where we started here. Alright. Should have level one for all three of the weapons. And she does as well. We'll give her the spear since that's the strongest weapon. I'll keep Randy with the sword. Since he's kind of like the knight of the party, I usually try to keep him with the sword. Got whacked. All right, so you can, yeah, climb through up into the water here. This actually just brings us back to this area, so the top level is just a big loop. The treasure, but those guys either drop medical medicinal herbs or they poison, I believe, poison traps. I'll pick it up anyway, but just letting you know, it's not always the best idea. Yeah, okay. I'm not maxed out on medical orbs yet, so... You can use those to unmoogle you too, I think. Um, I could have done that, but... We live to fight another day. Here's the area that that bridge went over. There's nothing over there, though. Now we're below the other area we were at before. Yeah, a lot of these enemies you can basically kind of stun lock them if you just time your hits right.
All right, level six. Kind of like a level up for Prim again because her HP is a little low. Well, not low, but lower, I guess. So we got two caves here. Here's Nico again. That's all that's in here. I don't think he has anything different again yet, but I'm just going to check. Nope. So, looks like we must have to go in this one then, right? Here we have some of those goblin guys we can get our revenge on. These guys can poison us. I think they're just called green drops. And they do, um, they do split. So they will not split past a group of three though. But once you kill one of them, if you don't finish the rest of them off fast enough, they will keep splitting on you. So if you can get them in a corner and hit all of them at once, get rid of them. But depending on your perspective, if you want to try to finish them off, it can be either a pain or a good opportunity to level up, kind of. Yeah, and a punch glove. Yeah, all these goblet guys are sleeping when we find them. I only did one damage, but I felt like it would have hurt. <laughs> Rather not wake both of them up at the same time if I can help it. We got some lava underground, it looks like. So yeah, you can't go past that. But we can go up here. Another one of these caves that kind of moves us up here. Hid Goblin, I guess, is what these are called. Yeah, Poison Needle. Another thing, I guess, if you are curious, this target thing will tell you what they are, so I don't know if that's like the only... if that's the main purpose for it, or if it is to differentiate targets in the middle of battle, but you can always select that with a cursor anyway if you're using magic or something. Though I don't necessarily get it. Maybe that is all it's there for, so you can see the names. Looks like we got a dead end here anyway. But there is a little skull on the wall there. If you hit it, it'll switch and we can hear something happen. Let's go check it out. Oh, we already killed that guy. It's a different one. Two of them. I think these guys are called Blats. Yeah. I guess when we come across different enemies, I'll try to show that out so we can get their names. 
And see what it did basically is it let that water that was in there um, release to cool off the lava. So we can walk around down here now. Um, there's You can't go anywhere over here, so you have to go in this little cave here. Yeah, and you come out right in between those guys, so wake them up by default, I think, basically. Yeah, Mushboom. I think that's what I said I thought those guys were called. See if I can get this guy before he splits. Yeah, there we go. Need to keep an eye on my HP, too. Hopefully I'll get another level up before I need to use a candy. So yeah, these guys are guarding a treasure here. And this isn't a treasure that is guarded by, or that is dropped by an enemy, so usually these are going to have something better in them. This one has the magic rope. Which is basically like your exit spell. You can use it to escape from a dungeon if you're done with it or if you need to get out in a hurry. And these guys are back. And they split on me. Not really in a good position. So I can come at them from the side. And I don't want to get overly aggressive because I don't want him to lose more HP. Okay. We leveled up. Now I don't care as much. Yeah, and basically you know if you have an attack that misses these guys, then they're going to split on me. I could set my other character to be more aggressive and attack also, but I kind of like to just take them all out on my own. Makes things smoother, I think. Looks, unless you actually have another person with you to play the second player. And yeah, once again, I am just going to try to kill most of the things I see through here. And throughout most of the areas in the game. Just because that way, it's not going to be like I'm stopping to grind as much, even though it is kind of grinding on the way. And so we have enough money to buy everything that we need, hopefully. Because you already saw that, that some of these things get pretty expensive. I actually wanted to check on the other side over there first before we go down that. I don't think there's anything over here. Not just one of these guys. And they are called Green Drop. Come on. I got lucky he didn't split there. Right. Yeah, I mean, this isn't exactly a short cave system here. Another treasure. Yeah. That one hurt a little more than the last couple had, I think. Actually, gonna take Vlad out first because he does that balloon attack. I 
if this guy splits on me, I'm probably just gonna leave him. Head onward. Okay, we got him. Okay, can't get through that way. And the stairs don't quite go all the way up. The only place we can go is up here. We got a kid goblin and another switch. So it drops that rock. And yeah, we're actually just right over here where we couldn't get through before. Oh, we come down here and the music has changed. And that rock is what fell from the top, so now we can walk across it to get up here. But, um, anyway, I think this is a good place to go ahead and call it for today. So we'll pick up here next time and I'll head on into, I guess, probably what's going to be the dwarf village, I would imagine. Sounds kind of like we got friendly music. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.